What's up everyone? Hope everyone's having a good day. As you can see, it's kind of gloomy outside here. Fair even. It's raining out. So I figured it'd be the perfect time to get some more stuff done on the Jay-Z. So today I figured I'd get the rest of the cooling system out of the way. So when you're running a GTE, and you upgrade to a single turbo, you actually, from the factory, you have a heater line that comes off the back of your water pump here, and it goes to the back of the block, and you actually have about, I think it's two outlets and then for the turbo hoses to cool it. As you can see, I'm not gonna be running mine. I'm probably gonna block that off. There's a, I have this all taped off right now hole for your oil feed and for coolant so what we're going to do today is eliminate the twin turbo setup that was already taken off by the previous owner and if you actually purchase a GE non-turbo coolant line this will actually work perfectly with your 350z with the jz so what you do is you have this person actually blocked it off i don't think they were running any heat at all whoever was running this before but you're actually going to run this hose to your firewall and i actually have that hose part number right here it's a gates 18741 I was told would work. I won't know until I go to put it in the car. So let's get this GE pipe all going. So they have this factory bolt hole here for the GE. As you can see, I tried bending it and hitting it with a hammer, all trying to get it to work. The hole that this is actually supposed to go into is right here next to one of your factory twin turbo oil feeds. One of them I have blocked off right now. So this is gonna go here, but as you can see, when you go to put the pipe on, It lines up on the back of the water pump. But the problem I was having was the bracket for the G actually sits back too far, so the bolt hole must be in a different spot. I tried bending it. I tried hitting it with a hammer. I tried drilling that out, and it just won't fit. So what I am going to end up doing, that I'm in the process of doing right now, I'm going to break this piece off and actually run... I got this from a boating store in my town, West Marine. It's just a band clamp, a rubber band clamp for the bolt. This is going to secure the pipe to the engine. So I'm just going to chop this off real quick and we'll check the fitment on this. Alright, so I actually just got done cutting the pipe. All you're really going to need... So I used a Craftsman cutoff wheel. And what I did, it was kind of hard to record and cut at the same time. So I just cut it and put it together. Figure I'd show you guys what to do. So what you're actually going to do is that clamp that uh, bracket that was in the back before. You're going to just chop it off at the top here and then what I did was I just took the side of the cutoff wheel and just slowly at the back here there's uh, a couple spot welds if you can just slowly cut away at them the whole bracket will kind of just bend right off with a flathead so then I got this from West Marine like I said before and you can actually put the pipe there's not much room over here 
up against the block and see the little nudge right there so what I did was once that was cut off I just got the pipe where I wanted it and you just grab one of these band clamps and put a bolt through this back hole I'm not sure what it goes to from the factory but there was nothing in it when I got the motor and so I didn't see any it's not definitely not like a coolant or oil feed or anything so and it's pretty it's pretty on there it's shaking the whole engine stand so I think it'll work out pretty good so now we'll have heat we'll run a hose from here to our firewall on the 350z and then one from here to the firewall and next we'll just throw the thermostat in get the water pump area all buttoned up then probably finish putting the timing belt on so i'm actually just gonna throw the heater hose on that i ended up getting from the parts store just to see where it sits if you have a 350z you know that the heater core outlets come out of the firewall right here and about right here so this actually has a natural bend to it that I feel will just plug right into my heater core. I think this will work out well. Put Make sure you put a clamp on this. This is just for mock-up right now. And this is the Gates 18741. So now we'll put the thermostat in. So now the last piece of the cooling system to go on is our thermostat and our lower water outlet. So, bring this over here. Your thermostat is going to go right there in the bottom of your water pump. Can't really mess this up, it only goes in one way. Ended up getting the Mishimoto colder thermostat. So this is gonna sit inside your water pump. Just like that. So what you do, throw her in there. I put a little bit of water on the gasket. It'll lube it up as it goes in and dry once uh, it's all nice and tight. Got two nuts that hold it on. We'll just snug those up. Like I said, 12 millimeter. They don't need to be too tight enough to have a good seal on there all right that's that that buttons up the cooling system until we go to put the radiator on the actual car